Okay, well, let's record part two of using Google Forms. And uh, I need to go back to my form. And you remember, excuse me, we need to go into Google Docs. And I should see the form, Jay's survey, if you recall. Now, be prepared for a bit of a shock. This looks nothing like the form that we were working on. In fact, this will be the results page when people submit their form. So I need to go to Form and then edit the form. So that takes us back to exactly where we were when we were creating this form in part one. OK, well, this is the form as you may remember it. And uh, also remember that you can hover over any section in your form and use the tools here to go back and edit the question. Uh, and um, you can also bin a question if you wish. I'll leave it to you to go to the go through the various types of questions. Checkbox is fairly obvious. Um, a scale from one to five, seeking opinions or preferences. So I'll leave you to do that. And um, I'll move on now to just show you a couple more features of Google Forms. One of the things we can do is to go to, I don't know why this won't go away, is to go to the theme uh, page. And then we choose one of these quite nice themes for our, for our form. And I think you should choose a theme that kind of reflects the level of seriousness of the survey that you're doing. Um, so let's just choose one of these like this. And you can see how it changes the form with our uh, survey heading and our um, section headings. You can see also these little asterisks, which mean that's a required part of the survey. And then our Submit button when we've finished the survey. So I'm going to go back up there and actually apply this theme, which takes me back to the editing mode. Now, you don't see the theme when you're editing, because uh, it's nice to have a clear screen. But you can see that the theme up here has actually changed. Now, other features. We can email the form. We can look at responses to the form. We can embed our form in a web page or in a blog. So, And that's our save there. That tells us the status of our form. Now, down here, just off your screen, right at the bottom in blue, is the, uh, is the web address of the form. We're up here currently in edit mode, but you're going to need to actually send the link to your form uh, to the respondents. So I've now clicked the blue link at the bottom of the editing part of, the, uh, of Google Forms. And this is my survey. And um, there we are. All our questions are there. And they all seem to be working. If I just do one of these, oh, I've spelled government wrong. Look, if I just do that. Uh, I could then click Submit. But this here, that is the link to your form, to your live form. Uh, and that's what you need to send people. OK, well, I'm going to submit this. And it says, I've got a question or two that needs to be filled out. Now, that is because, remember, we said that we must have a, um, should I make myself self-employed? Uh, we must have answers to those questions. Let's submit. And it says, thanks, your response has been recorded. So we could then go back to the form if we wished or not. I'm now going to go out of Google Docs. And I'll show you what it looks like when I come back in again. Now remember, when I come back into the forms, this is the page I see. And um, I can now go to Form and click. You can see I've got one response. So now I could either I could do any of these functions here. I can go to the live form, or I can show a summary of responses. And there we are. This summary of responses shows me exactly how many people have answered uh, each question in each particular way. And as more and more people respond, so this database builds up. So I think you'll probably agree that um, Google Forms here is a really powerful tool for creating surveys and getting results. Also, it takes a lot of legwork away from you in terms of analysis and collation of the results. Just running out of time, but I'll leave it to you to explore the different uh, areas and tools that Google Forms offers you. Just quickly, we'll go back to the live form to finish.